Hello, welcome to this video, and I want to talk about the uh, handshake exception. Uh, some more info on unable to find a valid certification path to the requested target. So to demonstrate how this works and how we can fix this, we'll first start at looking in a working application and inspect why it is working. Then we'll break it, and obviously we're going to fix it again so that you can understand how to fix this. So this is the application that I have. It's just a really simple API call to this particular website. We can obviously use Google Chrome to see what it does. So it just returns a random fact and the length of that fact. So let's run our application. We can see again, yeah, it's just one line output, right? JSON string. See, why this works is because currently our certificate is trusted and the certificate chain or certificate path as Java calls it, can be found here. So you can click here, connection is secure, certificate is valid, and then you go to details. So this is this certificate path that they are talking about. And Google Chrome apparently trusts this ISRG root, which trusts this, uh, the R3, which trusts this particular site. So, uh, Java doesn't look at what Google Chrome trusts, but it has its own key store. And to go there, you'll need to find your Java home. And I hope you have set that, otherwise you need to set that. So let's see, my Java home is here. And we'll go there. And we can see a lib security. So this is where the security happens. And we can see here CA certs, and cert stands for certificates. And these are our trusted certificates. So the moment we trust this top certificate, we can trust everything that is below that in the hierarchy. And that is when we actually read the bottom, which are actual sites like this that we are trying to reach. So what you want to do is you want to open a PowerShell or a command line or whatever. And you want to do that in admin mode. And then we'll head into that security folder. And Java comes with a key tool, which helps you inspect that certificate. And currently it is not working. So what you want to do is you want to uh, point to where this is. Now, where can this be found? Also in your Java home at the bin. When you scroll down, you'll see key tool. Let's see key tool here. And to point to where it is, you can add it in your path variable. So let's do that. You also know how to do that, okay. Now let's restart our PowerShell. You have to restart it. And we'll check if it works. Okay, it works. So let's go back into the security folder and let's uh, inspect our certificates. So we can see the minus list option. Okay, let's do, let's use that one. Minus list, minus key store. I'm gonna point to that one. And I'm gonna do minus V for verbose and the output will be quite big. So I'm gonna put it in a text file. Let's see what that gives us. So we see that we have 97 trusted certificates. Now let's see if we trust ISRG root. I already have it here. Well, we do, right? And we can see that this is an alias. So let's save that. So we do trust it because it is in our key store and we can have the alias here. Now, what happens when we delete it, right? We can delete that. Minus delete, minus key store. Let's point to our key store again. And we will give the alias. As follows. Okay, let's go. So when we run it now, you will see this error. That's the whole point of this video, right? Path building field. Unable to find valid certification path to request a target. 
So it cannot find the path that points to this cat factor ninja, and this is why the handshake fails. Now, to fix this error, we can uh, import the root into our C search, and then it will work again. So we're going to export it. We could put it into downloads. And we're going to import that same key under the same alias. So I'm going to leave everything the same. Minus import cert. You can see it here. Minus file, and we're going to point to our downloads. Okay, so my tab button is not working, it's not good. Downloads, downloads, downloads. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's import it. And obviously, I uh, need to mention also the this one. Yeah, of course. So, do we trust the certificate? You have to type yes. We trust it. And this will again tell Java to, hey, you can trust this, so you can choose this, so you can trust this, so you can make a connection with the site. Now, let's run it again. And as you can see, we get a nice fact about cats. So I hope this um, helps you understand why this error occurs and how to fix it. And uh, good luck with the rest.